In this second series on diesel engine service, I want to cover the fuel filter and air filter. I believe these two filters should be changed every 12 to 15,000 miles depending upon your driving habits and the condition of the engine. I prefer to change them every fourth oil change just to remember the last time I did them. The fuel filter is a little more difficult to change in the air filter, but we're going to take a look at the air filter first. The air filter can give you a pretty good idea of the condition of your engine. So let's take a close look. You remove this wing nut and release the four or five snaps. It's pretty easy to lift the filter straight out. But look at this. Look at the last time the filter was changed. And sure enough, look at the condition of this filter. There's a lot of evidence of oil both on the filter and down in the housing. So it looks like this engine has probably got some excessive engine blow-by. There's not much we can do other than change a filter and keep a closer eye on it. If the oil filter housing excessively oily, go ahead and get a little carb cleaner and some shop towels and wipe this out thoroughly. At the same time, you want to go ahead and check the rubber mounts that hold this air filter housing to the intake manifold. If these rubber mounts are broken, you'll want to change them right now. We carry replacements on our website. You know, even if you've never worked on a car before, air filter replacement is something you can do yourself. If you note here, I like to write the date on the filter so I can always check when it was last replaced. And I'm going to be sure and tell the owner to check the air filter every 6,000 miles now that we're getting some evidence of excessive blow-by. So it's just a matter of simply pressing the filter in place, lining up the lid, and reinstalling. There are two fuel filters located in the engine compartment. The first is called a pre-filler. It is a plastic see-through filter that's mounted just before the mechanical lift pump that you see here. This pump is what moves the fuel from the tank up to the engine. The purpose of this filter is to protect the lift pump. The second filter is called a primary filter and it's a spin-on type that's located right below this housing in the left front of the engine and is attached by this through bolt. The purpose of the primary filter is to protect the injection pump from fine particulates and any moisture that might be in your fuel. To remove these filters, you're going to need a large open end wrench, a couple screwdrivers, and I recommend some type of drip pan. You can set a larger pan under the car because you are going to get some fuel spillage here. But I like the little pan that you can fit right underneath the filter. Once that's in place, use your wrench to loosen the through bolt two or three turns. Once it's loose, you can reach down and spin the filter the rest of the way off by hand. Note that I move the pan slightly over underneath the pre-filter. I'm going to reach in and disconnect the inlet side first, loosen this clamp up and pull it free and let it drain as much as possible. And while that's draining, there's something else I forgot to tell you about these pre-filters. Two things, in fact. Number one, always wear gloves when working around diesel fuel. And number two, always carry at least one spare pre-filter in your trunk along with the tools to change it. You'd be amazed what happens when this thing plugs up on the freeway and you're stuck without a spare. When replacing a pre-filter, be sure and check your fuel hose and your clamps. You look closely at this hose, you can see the cracks on the inside diameter. That means replacement. Don't even chance it. Also look at the clamps. You can't believe all the variety of clamps I've seen all over the years. There's one particular clamp I do not like and that's this US style clamp that has the notches cut in it. It's very damaging to a hose. We carry new hose and quality clamps on our website. I recommend you order these at the same time you're ordering filters. Here you see the new pre-filter and hose assembly ready for installation. There's a couple things I want to point out that make this a lot easier. One, note the orientation of the clamps and set them in a position where you can easily get the screwdriver on them. Also, on this inlet hose, cut it a little extra long so once you set the pre-filter down in the engine compartment attached to the lift pump, you can use this hose to align the correct position of the pre-filter. Before installing the new primary filler, there's two things you must do. Number one, remove the bolt and inspect the O-rings and seals. One type of bolt has two O-rings, the other has an O-ring and a metal crush washer. These O-rings and seals are not included in the new filter, so you'll need to order those separately. 
Also, always, and I'm going to say it again, always fill the new filter full with new diesel fuel. This will save a whole lot of time and frustration when you go to bleed the air out of the system. I've spun the filter on as far as I can with the bolt in place. Then I'll use my large wrench to tighten this down. It's not necessary that you over tighten this bolt. Remember, it's the seals in the crush washer that are providing the seal. With the filter in place, I can use the hand primer pump to pump fuel up through the pre-filter and into the filter. Keep pumping until you feel good pressure. And you should actually be able to hear the injection pump start to squeak. As you can see, this pump built up good pressure in the injection pump. But let me warn you, if your pump is leaking, you may have to replace it. We carry an excellent heavy duty primer pump on our website. Once you're sure that you've bled the system out as best you can with a hand primer pump, go ahead and try to start the engine. If the engine starts and quits or won't start, you may need to do additional bleeding at the injector lines. Take a 17 millimeter wrench and loosen the lines and turn the engine over with the starter until you see fuel coming out of each of the injectors. I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for our next one on the series, Diesel Service.